Good morning, everyone. I want to make sure that we are indeed on. And I don't think so. Not yet. Not yet. There we are. Oh, thank God. Good morning, everyone. I can actually see. All right, we have lots to do today. Good morning. Oh, yay. Good morning, Lisa. I can actually say hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Lisa Sherman. Welcome to Bar. This is your first time here. God love you. I'll get you through. And for all of you who've been watching me for all these, all these years and all this time, um, thank you so much. What we need to do, make sure you have a ball. If you don't have a ball, take a towel, wrap it up so it's something that you can compress. You'll need some light hand weights, a mat, some water. Uh, you can wear shoes or not wear shoes. That's your choice. And we have lots to do. Now, uh, we probably won't overload every area today, but I'm going to really try to apply as many areas today as we can. We're going to start on the ground with our hip, with our supine, which means face up, hip extensions. All right. Ah, blind, cannot see you. So I'm going to bring this camera down. So hang in there as we go for the ride. Nice view. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. All right, let's get going. Let's do this. All right. Yeah. So grab your ball. Go down to the mat. Place that ball inside your knees, all right? Now, your feet placement, they shouldn't be together, but slightly apart, not much. Now, place your hands behind your thighs, and my little cat here has jumped over the cat rail, so nothing I can do about it. Your abdominal wall, I want you to compress short between your sternum and your pubic bone and roll down as you squeeze the ball. Roll down slowly, slowly, slowly until you get to that place where you feel comfortable. Now I'm using a little pillow underneath my head, a squishy pillow. That helps align my cervical spine. You do what you want. I'm gonna bring my feet closer to my glute and I'm gonna press my spine against the floor. Feet are flat on the ground. Shoulders down and I'm gonna squeeze my ball. Now all I wanna do by doing this is start my focus. Start my focus. Concentrating right now. Total body focus for our upcoming workload. Adductors, inner thighs are being concentrated on right now. They're being contracted without shortening or lengthening. Isometric contraction. Hold this position, get heavy in the heels. Now, we're gonna go to the slower part of the rhythm. All I'm doing is squeezing and releasing. Now, when I release, it's just to relax. I never really ever let go of the contraction. Now, with this, Again, watch your feet placement. I want them closer, but not touching. I want you to use your inner thighs to do this work instead of your knees having to grip the ball, okay? So we're going slowly. Now I'm gonna add a rhythm. So it's pulse, pulse, then little relax, but not release. So my hands are initiating what your thighs are doing. On, squeeze, squeeze, and release. Squeeze, squeeze, and release. And once again, for those of you who are just tuning in, we're gonna to try to apply as much as we can today. A little bit of everything. We won't be able to probably overload every muscle group, but we're gonna to try to say hello to the hair as many as we can. All right, apply as much as we can. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Now I'm gonna go on the count of one to a triple time. Triple time. And four, three, two, one. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So I'm trying to change the shape of this ball, you know? Really pressing my spine on the ground because my spine wants to lift up a little bit. I'm not letting it. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And again. And my feet are flat on the ground. Toes are spread. Eight more. And the last eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the squeeze and hold. Just like we'd start in the very beginning. I'm gonna bring my toes towards my butt. 
onto the balls of my feet. I'm going to lift my hips and I'm going to walk my shoulders towards my feet. And I'm going to lift up a little bit more. My pubic bone is higher than my belly button. So there's a slight pelvic tilt. I'm going to keep this nice and quiet. I'm not going to go up and down. I'm still squeezing that ball. Here we go, slowly. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. So you've got lots of things going on here. Hamstring initiation. You feel stretching your quad. You're on the balls of your feet, heavy on the balls of your feet. My glute is contracted. My inner thighs are starting to wake up. My abdominal wall is being contracted in a position of stable. Position of stable. Now we're going to go to a double beat. Pulse, pulse, and hold. Pulse, pulse, and hold. Pulse, pulse, and hold. Pulse, pulse, and hold. Then again. Pulse, pulse, and hold. So remember, this isn't moving up and down. Everything is squeezing in. So it's a um, it's a movement that has no other movement of shortening or lengthening of the muscles. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Two more times, then we're gonna hold. Now hold it here. Now think. Three, two, now we move down and lift. So now we're adding that hip extension. Squeeze, 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 down, push off the balls of the feet, squeeze, and down. Hip extension. Great. And again, feel those hamstrings ignite on that lift up. Now also think of that squeeze on the way down. Squeeze on the way up. Squeeze on the way down and the way up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. On the way down, up on the way up. Squeeze, squeeze, on the way up. You're gonna stay here, stay here. Keep this quiet, except for a triple squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So it's one, two, three, four. It's like if you're clapping out in an audience. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Your calves are probably flapping around like mine are. And squeeze, 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 squeeze. And again. We're going to do this eight more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, and alive. Last eight. Now, everybody hold it here. Keep that squeeze. Now, listen carefully. Let go of your balls. Boom. Hold this position. Now, tuck up. Up. So now we're starting to add some pulses. Knees align with the hips. Inner thighs are still working, but you're not squeezing that ball. But everything is now working within that hamstring and that glute. Watch the change. Here's your demo. Forward, wide, forward. Why? Adding an external rotation. We do a lot of them later on at the bar. Now remember, at the bar, or whatever you're using, make sure it's anchored so it can hold your weight. A chair is not going to work, everybody. It's not going to work. you got to make sure whatever you're holding on to is anchored. Two more. You're going to keep the legs open and tuck feet. Feeling it now. Bun's on fire here. Now I'm going to add an external rotation wider. Lift. Lift and open. Shoulders down on the ground. Ribs are contracted in a stabilized position. Last eight. Eight, seven, and last section. Hold on. One, four, three, two. Hold. Now you're going to squeeze those legs together. The butt doesn't change. It stays in this position. Doesn't go up and down. Firing up those inner thighs. Firing them up. Oh, yeah. Double hit. Hit, hit, open. Hit, hit, open. Hit, hit, open. Four more. Three. Good morning. Hold it here. Now tuck. As your thighs, I'm walking my feet in together, knees together. Tuck, tuck, squeeze those thighs, squeeze those thighs. Lift that butt, lift that butt. It's eight, seven, six, five. Last four, three, 
two, hold and drop. Oh my goodness. Bring your thighs in, round your spine. Oh, give yourself a nice flexion. Roll your ankles. Now, we're gonna do something a little bit different. My feet are apart. I'm gonna turn a little bit this way. I'm gonna move my headpiece. Now, this is absolutely, positively as basic as you can get. But you know what? Basic is good. My hands are intertwined. Place them behind my head, and I'm lifting my chin slightly. My shoulders are just hovering on the floor. Ladies, we are going back to basic like you've never done before. I want you to think of your abdominal wall like an accordion. It comes together as you slightly elevate your shoulders off the ground. Two counts, ladies, up, curl, back down just a little. Really, really slow, good old-fashioned abdominal curl. Now let's talk about it. I'm bringing point A, which is my sternum, towards my belly button. This has nothing to do with my head and my neck. It has to do with my shoulders are coming off the ground. Just so happens my head's attached. Yeah? So you lift in one piece. Let's go to one count. So I'm keeping my shoulders off the ground, which is kind of hard for you to see in this um, angle. I'm not pressing on my head to come up. I initiate here. I initiate here. I press down to lift, down to lift, down to lift. From the top, two counts up. Up, squeeze, down, down. Up, squeeze it, down, down. Up, squeeze it, down, down. We don't have time to do everything today, as I said, if you're just chiming in. We're gonna try to apply everything, all right? Ladies, one count, let's go. Eight. So I'm making my range of motion shorter. I am compressing, compressing, bringing these armpits, think of your armpits towards your hips. Four more, four, three, you're gonna stay up on one, two, stay up on one. Now, if you think of this count of one, go away from me, hold that position, come down. Let's change the rhythm. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. One, hold two. Go away from me, elbows wide, and then down to the ground. Let's try the other way. Here's the demo. Curl up. Go towards me, and then down. Both sides, first side. Away from me, away and down. Towards you. So I call this the I'm a little teapot position because you're taking your entire trunk to the side as your shoulders are elevated. This is gonna accentuate your internal oblique. So I'm not rotating, I'm leaning. Curl center, lean, come down. Curl center, lean, come down. Curl center, lean, come down. Internal oblique. Everybody, I want you to hold here. The difference of the next section is that I'm gonna go away from you and rotate into an external rotation. Let's go, one, two, rotate, then down. Other side, one, two, come towards me. Do you notice that I'm keeping my elbows wide? In other words, I'm not collapsing, got it? Up, go away from me, then down. Curl up, pulse, rotate, here's the rhythm. Pulse, pulse, rotate, down. This is so basic. Rotate, down, keep your hips square. Rotate, this is going to offer your external rotation. Curl, curl, rotate two more times. 
One more time, we have to get to the bar. Center, eight counts, let's go. Eight, seven. I'm gonna bring my thighs up. Notice that, I'm gonna come down a little bit closer to you. Here we go. Do you notice that my knees are in line with my hips? This is our last section. Two more. Now I want you to hold up on one. Hold one. Drop two. Curl three. Down four. Slowly curl one. Reach forward in one piece. Curl together and down to the rhythm. One, two, three, four. On the count of three, crunch. Again, one, two, three, and one, two. Keep your knees in line with your hips. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four. Two more. Curl in. Last time. Curl in and hold. Take your hands behind your thighs. Bring your head down. Put the leg closest to you down. Bring the leg furthest up. You can't see my foot, but I'm flexing and pointing, flexing and pointing, flexing and pointing. Now I want you to bring the leg up, all the way down, and now kick it up again and just give it a stretch. Bring your other leg out to hover on the floor. Take both legs out to the side. Open, open those hips. Take the leg away from you furthest, place it on the ground. You can't see my foot, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. Take that leg, bring it down once, bop my kick, reversal for later. Give yourself a nice little stretch. Take the leg furthest from you, hover it on the ground. I'm hitting the wall here. Open the thighs one more time. Bring those thighs in, hands behind your legs. Rock and roll up. I'm gonna change the camera, so don't get dizzy watching that because I'm gonna flip the whole camera. I'll meet you at the bar, get your balls, get a glass of water if you need it. Let's go. Here we go. We're doing the flip. Oh. What have you done? What's going on? There we go. Come on now. No, it's not gonna let me. Well, that's a shame. That's a shame. All right, well, we'll have to try it this way then, everybody. It's not the way I wanted it. Let me make sure that I've got it all set. I wanted the camera a different way. Yeah. All right, we'll get this together, you guys. Don't worry. <clears throat> we will get this together. The joys of online classes. All right, that should be it. All right, get your balls. And if it's not it, I will set you up and I'll get the camera ready, okay? For right now, I'll fix my head. Don't worry about it. Take your ball. Place it inside your knees. I want to get you moving and then I'll, I'll figure out the camera. Do not worry. Now, you're going to squeeze that ball and you're going to walk your feet forward. Your feet have to be in front of your hips. In front of your hips. Hold on to your anchor. Shoulders are over your hips. Squeeze the ball on one. Now, come down to that 90 degree position. See how my feet are slightly in front of my knees, but my knees are in line with my ankle. Squeeze the ball on three, press down on your heels, and come only three quarters up with a straight back. Let's go. Squeeze, drop, squeeze, lift, squeeze, drop, squeeze, keep going. Squeeze, drop, squeeze, lift, squeeze, drop, squeeze, lift, squeeze, drop, squeeze, lift, squeeze, drop, four more times, squeeze, drop, press down, make, 
make sure you're heavy on those heels. Notice that I'm not doing this exercise tugging and changing my hip position. I'm using my legs, pressing down to come up. And squeeze, drop, squeeze, two more. It's only our first set. Again, squeeze and hold. Just squeeze the ball and release. Squeeze 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 and release. Get lower. Knees in line with the hips. Now squeeze on the way down. On the way down. Squeeze on the way down. Squeeze on the way down. Five more. Four more. Three. I lied. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Keep it going. Breathe it out. Three. Two. Hold. Two counts up. Up. Two. Down. Squeeze. Push off the heels. Use your arms. Bend the elbows. Lift. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. Up. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. Up. Squeeze. Down. Pull your, your triceps towards your ribs. The back of your arms towards your ribs. Use the strength. Press down. Four. Squeeze. Three. Squeeze. Two more. One more. Hold it here. Now the ball. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Triple squeezes like we did when we were on the floor. Lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Last eight, five, four, three, two, and pulling up. Good. Now take your ball, put it down. Always know you can get water whenever you need it. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to go into the flexion series, all right? So from here, bring your feet together, have your feet underneath your hips but be close to your anchor, all right? First count of one. We're going to do a squat, thighs are together. Now while you're here, make pretend you have an imaginary mirror on the floor. Everything looks up at you. So pull your ribs up. This is the count of one, two. Take your leg closest to me and place it. Now, you may change this a few times around, you know, until you get comfortable. Now, most important, my front knee. My front knee is in line with the ankle at all times. My hips are going forward. And down for two and up for two. All right? Get the movement before you really execute it. Get the idea of where your front foot is. I'm sorry, your back foot. And where your front foot is. Make sure you don't lean forward. In other words, I don't want to see that, all right? Not that this would move, but I don't want to see that, okay? Make sure your front foot is flat. And you simply drop your weight. Down for two, up for two, down for two, up for two, again. Down for two, one count, now eight, seven. So I'm shortening the range of motion. Heavy in the front heel. Second set, two counts down, down, two, up, two, down, two, up. Ribs are held. Shoulders are square, looking forward. Hips are square. Down for two, up for two. One count, emphasis down, down, down. Feeling it in both legs, but mostly that front hip. Five, four, three, two, hold on one, 
and stand up. Now, take the front leg closer to the back leg, going into your Shermanator. I'm gonna lift up the heel of the back leg again. And I'm gonna take my hand position, depending on what you want to do or can do, and I'm gonna bring the hands up and I'm gonna sit my hips back. Now I'm sharing the weight between my front heel and the back ball of my foot, but I'm heavier in the front heel. Dropping back, up for two. So we call this the Shermanator, which is the killer exercise. My hips go straight back. Do not sit in one hip. My front knee, the knee furthest from you, is in line with the ankle. Now I'm really sitting in that front heel though, really concentrating on that front heel. Drop down, it's eight. Drop. Now I'm trying to get my, the leg furthest from you, I'm trying to get that hamstring parallel to the floor. I'm not there yet. If you feel yourself leaning into one hip, don't do it. Center your hips. Two counts down. Down for two. Up just a little. Notice the pitch of my chest never changes. My hips keep driving back. Hips keep driving back. Hips keep driving back. My belly button is pulling away from the imaginary mirror. One count. Really feeling in that hip furthest from you. Four, three, two, and hold, pulling up. Beautiful. Shake your legs out and your hands. Next section. All those things have been flexions. Now we're gonna go into extension. I'm gonna use the same leg. So it's the leg away from you. The leg away from you to start. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come kind of far away from my anchor, my bar. So just my fingertips are touching. My feet are together, I'm starting in that position. Now, while you're here, just releve eight times on your toes and heels. So you shouldn't be going forward and back. You should be going up and down. Four, three, two, hold on, one. All right, put your heels down slowly. Now, I'm gonna take the leg furthest from the camera and I'm going to extend my hip. I don't care about height. I'm gonna take the same arm as leg and I'm gonna, I'm gonna widen it so it's gonna allow me a better anchor. The leg that's elevated is turned out and I'm really pointing that foot. Hold the position, everybody. If this was your leg and this is your butt cheek, I want you to concentrate on the crease where your butt and your leg starts. That butt crease, got it? <clears throat> I want that butt crease. From this position, I want you to really muscle memory this. Pull your ribs up away from the floor. Bring the leg down, up. It's a timing thing. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. I don't care about height. Couldn't care less. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Keep going. Keep going. It's down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down. Think of the crease. Try to hold a, a quarter under that crease every time it comes up. Hold. Hold. Eight more times. Yes? Hold the ribs up, away from the imaginary mirror. Yeah. Down. Up. Last. Four. Three. <clears throat> two. Hold up on one. <clears throat> Flex the foot now. Bend your front leg, please. Your standing leg slightly. Chest is up. 
Now you're taking the extended leg and you're doing small little flexions. I'm going to face you and give you that demo with my arm. The foot is flexed. Small range of motion. So now you can really hold that quarter, right? Under the crease of your butt. Lift, pull. Lift, pull. Think up. Up and. Up and. Chest is lifted. Up and. Up and. Again. Repetition today. Four more, everybody. Four. Soft knee in your standing leg. Hold it here. Point the foot again. Up and around. Circles. Up and around. Up and around. I'm going to show you from here. Here's the leg. So the leg is coming towards the camera. All right? Up and around. Up and around. So if you do a rhythm thing, up and around. Up in a circle. Understand? Up in a circle. Up in a circle. Up in a circle. So by now that butt cheek is truly screaming. Up and around. Now, this next section, I'm going to have to turn away from you. So you're going to have to watch me and then you'll get into your position. You'll get into your position. On the count of one, you will watch me for a second. Three, two, hold on one. Watch me. I'm going to go away from you. I'm going to lift up my hip to the ceiling. I'm going to bend my top leg and flex the foot. I'm going to take that leg and press back. 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 Get into your position now. Go. Back. 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 Squeeze the butt. Now, in this position, everybody, try to lift your rib cage away from the floor. Keep going, keep going. I'm going to face you now. Bring the leg around. Actually, it's coming to you this way, this way, this way. So I want you to think that your leg is against a tabletop, a tabletop, and you're dusting across, straight across. Keep that foot flexed. Keep that elevated hip on top to the ceiling. Keep going. Giving those little, giving those squeezes. Now, everybody, I'm going to take that same leg up, then across. Up, then across. Up to the ceiling, then up and across, dust the table. Up and across, dust the table. Up, dust. Up, dust. Up, dust. Up, Dust, eight more. Up, dust, up, dust, up, then dust, up, then dust. Five, four, three, two, eight more. Eight, and across. Seven, last section. Ribs away from the floor. Work that butt. Three, two, ladies. Bring that leg down, round the spine, and rotate and pull it up. Our last section, so you have hair in my eye. Bring it into an external rotation. Finish off this leg. All right. Now this is going to be away from me. I'm going to face this anchor. Face your anchor. Feet are in a first pis first position. All right. All I want you to do is releve in that first position and squeeze those inner thighs together on the way down. Squeeze. Lift up. Squeeze. So lift your weight, then press your heels down. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now, you're going to take the leg furthest from you and you're going to go into a passe. Looks like this. Get those hips square. Hips are square. Get into your passe position. Move away from your anchor. Passe. Now, you're going to plie your front leg and you're going to attitude the leg furthest from you. Do you understand? 
Now, you're gonna come back to where you started with your hips square and bring that foot down to a first position. Five, six, seven, eight. Passe, plie attitude. Passe, toe ball, heel down. Do it again. Passe, plie attitude. Passe, down. For those who want, passe, releve. Plie attitude, passe, releve, down. Two more times. Passe, releve. Plie attitude. Passe, releve, down. This time you're going to hold that attitude. You're going to stay here. Get into position. Try to have your shoulders square. Ribs are held. Front knee relaxed. Pull away from the bar. Circle the attitude. Circle. Circle. Eight. This is the icing on the cake for that one side, first side of the butt and the hips. You can do it. It's screaming. Up and around. Keep that attitude constant. Move the whole leg in one piece. Five, four, three, two. Last eight, this is it. Eight, seven, six more. Circle, five more. Last four, three, two, and bring it down. Round over. Nice job, everybody. Roll up. Let's keep going. Get some water if you need it. Let's get the other side. All right. Start with your ball. Place the ball inside the knees. Now, again, we're not going to be here too long. We're going to zip right through the other side. All right? Have your feet fairly close together, feet in front of those hips. Elbows are in to your, your rib cage. Squeeze the ball before you start. Squeeze on one. Seated chair, heavy in the heels, bend the elbows three quarters up. Let's go. Squeeze, drop, squeeze, lift, squeeze. So you're pros at this already because you already did this. Keep that spine in one position. Squeeze, down, squeeze heavy on the heels up. Squeeze, down, squeeze, lift. Squeeze, down, squeeze, lift again. Squeeze, down, squeeze, lift again. Squeeze, down. All right, concentrating mostly on the quadricep, hamstring, I mean, everything's working. But you have different accentuations. Different muscles apply in different positions. Two more. One more. Hold it here. Just hold. Keep that ball squeezed. Let's drop now. Squeeze, drop. Squeeze, drop. Squeeze, drop. Squeeze, drop. Nice. Squeeze, drop. Squeeze, drop. ball somewhere. Facing the bar. Feet are together. Walk your feet, you know, walk them up. You're now going to take the leg furthest from you. That's going to reach back. Let's go. It's going to take a minute to find your position. One side's always going to be stronger than the other. Most important, front knee in line with the ankle. Hips are square. Shoulders down. Two counts. Down. For two. Up. For two. Now you're sharing the weight between the front heel and the ball of the foot. But you're heavy on that on this leg. Heavy. You may pretend you're balancing water on your shoulders or beverage of your choice. Don't spill it. 
Lock it down lower, knock yourself out. One count, let's go. Eight, seven. So this shortens the range of motion. This exhausts the muscle. Two counts down. Down, two, up, two. Make sure that front knee stays in line with the ankle. this because this side is tired from everything we did on the other side. One count. Let's go. Four. Three. Two. Hold. Coming up. Walk the back leg towards the front, the front leg towards the back. So you're further from the bar. Lift up the heel of the leg furthest from you, getting into Shermanator. Hips are square, knee in line with the ankle, heavy in the front heel. I'm changing my position of my hands. You do what you want. So I'm always driving back. But when I drive back, this front knee has to stay in line with the ankle. Understand? Hold your ribs up from the floor, away from the imaginary mirror. One count. So although I'm driving back, my front knee never leaves the alignment of the ankle. Two counts down. Up just a little, drive back, then up just a little, drive back, up just a little. Two more. One more. One count. Let's go. Do it. Now I'm trying to get this hamstring parallel to the ground. I think I'm tired from yesterday's class, so doing the best I can, you should do that too. Last six, five, oh yeah, four, three, two, and one. Oh my God, shake out your body. Now, we've done the flexions. Now we go to the extensions, all right? The hip extensions. So, come a little bit further away from the bar. This is gonna be the working leg. I don't care about height, couldn't care less, all right? But this arm, same as leg, I'm gonna reach it towards you to help align the body. All right, here we go into a hip extension. And I'm just gonna hold this position. Now, personally for me, I'm gonna stand back further. It's a little bit more um, challenge for my, uh, my abdominal wall. You can't see my foot, but my foot is pointed. I'm muscle memory in this position. The leg is down, up, down, up. Down, up. Again, down, up. Down, up. Holding my ribs up. Trying to keep my shoulders square and my hips forward. Although this working hip is turned out. Down, up. Nothing else moves, chest is lifted. Four. Hold it up, flex the foot. Up a little, down a little. Up a little, down a little. So I'm really holding that quarter under the crease of my butt. Up a little, down a little. Try to keep my shoulders square. And again, up a little, down a little. Upper body is relaxed, although I'm holding on to the bar. Again, four, three, two, 
Hold it here. Point the foot. Do it again. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up. Flex the foot. Up a little. Down a little. Up a little. Down a little. Second set. Last four. Get out of your standing leg, everybody. Hold it here, point the foot, circles, up and around. So my leg is going away from you on the circle. Up and around, up and around, up and around, up and around. Straight leg, make sure the butt's doing the work. Up and around, four, three, two, here comes the rotation. Here we go. So I am like literally sideways. I am pulling my rib cage, I'm gonna change my position a little bit. I'm pulling my rib cage, my oblique, my internal oblique away from the floor. We visited them before, didn't we? Standing leg is relaxed. And I'm pulsing back. Just like I'm dusting off a tabletop. Again, straight back, straight back. Try not to have anything else move. Again. Squeeze that butt. Eight more. Eight. It's a, quite a dusted table, yeah? I'm going to add on. I'm going to go up and across. Up and across. Up and across. Up and across. Up. So I'm adding abduction. Four more. Lift and across. Everybody, just up. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Hold that rib cage up. Fight it. Do it. Three. Two. And one. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, roll back, bend your knees, roll up. Last section of external oblique, I'm sorry, of external hip rotation, and then we'll do a second position flexion, arms, and I gotta say bye-bye. All right, so starting kind of away from that bar, and we've done this before, I'm gonna go into a passe position. Here's your demo. Go into your plie attitude. Go back to your passe with your hips square to wall heel down. Let's go. Up for two, for two, passe, and down. Do it again slowly. Passe. I'm gonna pull away from the bar, plie attitude, bring, shoot that leg back, that hip in that position. Now I'm gonna go into a passe releve, passe releve to a wall heel down. That's your choice. Passe releve, plie attitude, passe releve, and to a wall heel down. Plie attitude, passe releve, <coughs> to a wall heel down. Passe releve, plie attitude, passe releve, to a wall heel. Last time. Passe releve and hold. Get yourself into a position of function for yourself, pull away from the bar. Let's go. Up and around. Attitude circles. Hold your ribs away from the imaginary mirror on the floor. Again. Up and around. Pop that first one. Rhythm. Rhythm. Execute. Dynamic. Eight more. Then you're going to grab your, oh no, we're going to do second position. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful. From here. 
second position plie. Shoulders down, ribs are held. They're zipped up. Think of zipping from your pubic bone to your sternum. Zip it up, all right? Releve, you wanna pop those heels up. Come straight down. Open the thighs. Squeeze those thighs together as you come straight up, not forward and down. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So we now made it a little faster. Make sure you always have those arms unlocked, but straight. You should be that far away from the bar. Up, drop, lift. This time, up and hold. And drop down as you open the hips. You're on your toes. Last four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, get your weight, and let's go. I'm going to move the camera one more time. Watch me on stage and do it. And shows are starting to happen again. Okay. We did this last week. We're going to do it again. You know why? Because it's very functional. So, we're going to start both arms, shoulders down, light weights, everybody. But if you truly feel no challenge, then you need to up your weights. Position one, palms down. Position two, thumbs up. V for victory. Position three, palms down, thumbs down, wide. Position four, bicep curl. Let's go. Forward. V, thumbs down, curl. Once again, this is submaximal endurance, which means lightweight, lots of reps. Really nice tone, helps to tone. Endurance helps to tone. Palms down, thumbs up, victory. Thumbs down, bicep curl. Again, we're doing good on time. Wide. Now we're gonna break it down, just forward. Eight, resist on the way up and down. Do not throw your weight. Muscle propels movement. Movement should not propel muscle. That's when you get injuries. Four, three, two, V. Let's go. Thumbs up and in. Up and in. All shoulder deltoid work. Beautiful thing. Breathe out on exertion. Any questions or comments, you know how to reach me. Or if you don't, you're going to find out. Vocal fit 46 at gmail.com. All right. Let's bring it wide. Let's go. And thumbs down. So you may not be able to lift that high. As far as cooling down and stretching, we use the whole hour to work. So ladies, you will need to find or watch, if you don't know on your own, a nice stretching video. I like using all this time for your workout. Now we're gonna go back to both arms forward, both arms forward, combination. We'll go back to the bicep, V, Y, bicep curl. Do it again, do it again, forward, V, Y, curl. Last time, V, 
wide, stay with the curl. I'm gonna turn this way. Now I know these weights are not really light, so I have my elbows. And these are three pounds. You use whatever you want to use. One to three is cool. My elbows are really locked into my rib cage. And I'm shortening the range of motion to make it a little bit more accentuated to try to exhaust that muscle. Now from here, we're gonna go into the rest of the shoulder workout. Stay here, stay here. I'm gonna give you a demo. We still have six minutes. Stay with us, watching. You're going to join me now. Let's go. One, two. So this is a rotation. Looks like this sideways. Yeah. One, two, three, four, one. External rotation, internal. One, two, three. Now try not to drop your arms on the count of two. Yeah. One, keep those elbows high. There you go. Two more times and we're going to go on. One more. Go to the count of one. Hold on one. This is now where you're starting. This is now where you're starting. One, two, three, four. One, reach up. I'm going to move the camera. One, reach up. And again, one, reach up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So all we did was change the rotate into a shoulder extension. One, two, three. This next time you're gonna hold on the count of one. Hold on the count of one, stay. This arm only, your left arm. Now notice my right arm stays high. Stays high. Stays high. Good. Real nice. Changing arms. Now, your right arm is the mover. Your left arm stays elevated. Don't let that other arm drop. Now this arm, four times. Your left arm. Do the right arm now. We still have two minutes. Hang in there. Two on the left. Two on the right. Both arms, let's go, eight. Seven, six, last, four, three, two, hold on, one, internal rotation, and down. Bring the elbows back as I say goodbye to you guys. Bend your elbows, bend your knees, ribs are held, and go into a tricep extension. We'll do this for one minute, we still have it. Neck is relaxed. It's been a pleasure working with you. I hope to see you soon. You did great, you did always do great. Life is doing what we love and we love to take care of of ourselves so that our life is better and more functional. Well done. Eight more. Get those elbows up. Have your arms though glued to your to your body, your upper part of your arm. Three, two, hold and pulse for eight, eight, seven, six, last. Three, two, Put the weights down. Take your left arm over and out, over and out, over and out. Hold it here, give it a stretch as I come and talk to you. So, thank you. We will see you. Great job, always. 
Make sure that you do stretch your appropriate areas. Take your other arm, hamstrings, hip flexors, glute, quads, hold it here. Always hold this forearm. Bring the arm down, shoulder down, and bring the arm across. All the important areas, calves, feet, trunk, all those important things. This was just a real quick stretch, and mwah, it's been a pleasure. I hope to see you guys again. Bye-bye now.